I welcome you all in the house of God. We have come into this place to magnify His name and to worship Him. So let's do what? Forget about ourselves and concentrate on Him and do what? Worship Him. Amen. We will also lift up holy hands and lift up praises and prayers from a pure heart. May He accept us this morning as living sacrifices. May we be worthy and acceptable in His sight. Today is going to be a special one for parents. Last Sunday it was for for our children. Today is going to be for us, parents. So, prepare your minds for what God will tell you. Like our teacher was teaching this morning, the Holy Ghost has a way of tilling the ground for the seed to be sown. The war of Jehoshaphat and the nations that gathered against him for no reason. The Bible said Jehoshaphat found out that he couldn't face the multitude of enemies that came against him. When he saw them, he feared. And that fear moved him to do what? Seek help of God. And in that seeking of help, everybody was involved. The young men, the wives, and even children were involved in seeking help. That's how to get it. And most of us have been failing in this area. If you go back to Nineveh, where Jonah went to preach. We were told that from the king to sucking babies, even animals, fasted and repented. And God gave them mercy. That's how to get it. We are commanded in the Bible, bring up a child the way he should grow. And when he's grown up, He will not depart from it. It's a tremendous responsibility. So today, it will be special for parents. The children can hear us. But it will be God and parents. So that we are not blamed or condemned or rejected at the end. So that the blessedness of children will not become the source of our condemnation. Have we done our best? Have we not done our best? Let's prepare our hearts this morning to seek God. Because we are looking for the returning of our Lord. Is that true? And the enemies around us are formidable. Visible and invisible. Visible and invisible. Enemies by day, enemies by night. So, have we as parents done all that we are supposed to do? If not, like Jehoshaphat, we can also gather our families, father, mother, children, and seek God for our own peculiar family war that we have to fight. Every Jehoshaphat here. If your songbook is still there, let's sing this song. Number 77. Seventy-seven. Mm-mm.
Sing it like you mean what you're saying. Oh soul, are you weary and troubled? No light in the darkness you see. Does light for a look on the sea? And life more abundant and free. Turn your eyes. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Through death into life everlasting. He passed and we follow him there. Over us he no more had dominion. For more than conquerors we are. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory and grace. His word shall not fail you, He promised. Believe Him and all will be well. Then go to our world that is tired in his path for salvation to tell. Turn my eyes upon Jesus. I look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory and grace. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Sing it now. Wonderful things and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory. Say it to yourself. Say it to yourself. Turn my eyes upon Jesus. I look full in His wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim. In the light of His glory and grace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God bless you all. Please be seated. Glory be to our God. At least we have an need. And thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Amen? As for Ishmael, I have what? As for Ishmael, I have what? God will hear your father concerning you, young man, young lady. God will hear your mother concerning you. God was talking about Isaac. Establishing his covenant with Isaac. Abraham was talking about Ishmael. God just ignored his, what he said and keep talking what he's talking. He said, let Ishmael live before you. Use Ishmael for what you want to do for me. God said, no. Your wife will have, give you a son. Is that true? And I will establish my covenant with him. But for Ishmael, I have heard what you said. 
If Abraham had cursed Ishmael, God will hear it and establish it. Abraham pronounced blessing, God will hear it and establish it. I want each parent here to know when you are angry, be careful. Because God will hear you concerning that stupid boy, concerning that stupid girl. When you are very happy, be careful. Because God will hear you concerning that good boy and that good girl. God will hear. God will hear. Do you believe that? If parents know this secret, that God will hear what you say about any child. When you sit down miserably on that chair and you are saying to yourself, look at what this boy has done to me. Of all I have done. Huh? Look at the shame this girl has brought to me. Of all I have done. Oh God, if I did this to my father, if I did this to my mother, let it be well with this girl. If I didn't do so to my father, and I didn't do so to my mother, oh God, let it not be well with this girl. God go hear who. You are a child of God. The only person that will talk and it will not happen is somebody that is not in Christ. He says, God said to Abraham, I have heard you concerning Ishmael. I will bless him as you have said. I will give him twelve princes. I will make him great. Blah blah. I will give him all that. But my covenant is still with Isaac. Father's love. Both of them are children of Abraham. 